Hey, do you love a good story? Great. Then you got to check out the Hashtag Storytime podcast. Each episode brings you the craziest, creepiest, and cringiest stories from YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, and beyond. My story is about the time that I was broken up with at the 9-11 memorial. Uh, twice. Look, the internet is a dumpster full of stories, and I, your host, Will McFadden, dive in headfirst, sift through the flaming trash, and bring you nothing but treasures. Listen to all 21 episodes of Hashtag Storytime now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Our cars will break down, and when they do, the repair bill can be devastating. Not anymore. You need Protect My Car, whether it's a car, truck, or SUV. You can stop paying expensive repair bills. Call Protect My Car at 800-392-8795 now to see if you could qualify. Just tell us the make and model and get an instant quote right over the phone and get coverage today. For cars between 2008 and newer, expensive repairs for the engine, transmission, and much more can become a thing of the past. Call Protect My Car at 800-392-8795 now before your next repair bill hits. For total protection of your car, truck, or SUV and less repair bills plus free oil changes, free tire rotations, and free roadside assistance. Just call 800-392-8795 now. Protect your car and your wallet. Call 800-392-8795. Paid for by Protect My Car. Restrictions may apply. Plans and costs for coverage may vary. Being happy is a very personal thing and it really has nothing to do with anyone else. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we learn more about how to live a happy life. Enjoy. If I tell you, or if you're not me, let's say your dean tells you from tomorrow all of you what kind of clothes you should wear, immediately there'll be protests in the college. If your dean goes further and says everybody must eat only four idlis in the morning, if your dean tells you everybody should get up at five o'clock in the morning, let's say he put ten different rules like this, physical things to do you will think he is trying to convert you into slaves and you will shout and scream for your freedom, isn't it? But look at yourself and see, right now somebody else, if they determine what should happen around you, you feel like a slave. But right now somebody else is determining what should happen within you. Is this not slavery? Somebody can decide whether you are happy or unhappy. Is this not slavery? Somebody can decide whether you will be a pleasant human being or an unpleasant human being. Is this not slavery? What happens within you, somebody else determines. This is the worst form of slavery, isn't it? Isn't it so? It is just that because everybody is like that, it seems to be normal. It is not. It is not normal. Just because everybody is like that, it does not become normal. This human being, life around you will not happen, will never happen hundred percent the way you want it. And it should not happen because if everything happens the way you want it, where do I go? <laughs> I'm very happy it's not happening your way <laughs> And uh, now that you're a student, you're still a student, I believe about sixty, seventy percent is happening your way. When you get married, the percentage will get reversed <laughs> We don't know <clears throat> Well, we don't know whether which way it'll go. So if life around you will never happen hundred percent the way you want it, and it should not, unless you're living with machines, Life will not happen and even those machines will freak on you, isn't it? And the machines troubling you every day for something or the other, they do. So, outside will never happen hundred percent the way you want it and if your happiness or your joyfulness 
or let's not use all these so many words, essentially it is pleasantness versus unpleasantness. For pleasantness we have many names, we call it peace, happiness, joy, bliss, ecstasy. For unpleasantness we have many names, stress, anxiety, fear, tension, whatever else, madness, whatever. Pleasantness versus unpleasantness. If your pleasantness is dependent upon what happens around you, the chances of you being pleasant all the time is remote, isn't it? In the very nature of things it's not possible. Only if you are able to create a distance between this and that, it is possible in the sense. Whenever things don't work, there is a habit in lots of people, they will look up, uparwala. Isn't it? The whole world is looking up. Looking up. See, you know the planet is round? You know this? Okay. The planet is round and you are not sitting on top of the North Pole, you are sitting in Chennai, here in the tropical climate. And the damn planet is spinning. So if you look up, you are always looking up in the wrong direction. <laughs> You are invariably looking up in the wrong direction, isn't it so? Maybe at a certain moment of whatever Greenwich Mean Time, zero hours, when you looked up, maybe you hit the heaven. Rest of the time you are always looking in the wrong direction, isn't it so? So in this cosmic space, is there somebody who knows which is up and which is down? Does somebody know? Is there somewhere, is it marked this side up? Nobody knows which is up, which is down, it's just an assumption, isn't it? Do you know really which is north, which is south? In the real sense, do you know what is north and south? It is just for our convenience, we just fixed it, isn't it? Yes or no? Do you know what's east and west? No. Do you know what is forward and backward? You do not know. None of these things you know. There is only one thing you can be certain of right now, this is you know what is outward, what is inward. This one thing you are sure, isn't it? This is inward, this is outward. This is the only privilege you have. What is outward, what is inward, this is all you know. Just in case someday if you get enlightened, you will lose that also <laughs> Yes, that's what happened to me. Now I don't know which is inward, which is outward, which is me, which is not me, that's why I'm all over the world. Because I don't know whether this is me or that is me. <laughs> Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening. When you get Xfinity Internet, Flex is included free. And finding what to watch on TV is now as easy as popcorn. Show me my favorites. Yes! Live soccer. This is how easy it is to find my favorite content. All in one place. And for Xfinity Internet customers, it all starts at free with Xfinity Flex. This is a way better way to watch. Learn how to get a great offer on Xfinity Internet. Plus, add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Hey, do you love a good story? Great. Then you got to check out the Hashtag Storytime podcast. Each episode brings you the craziest, creepiest, and cringiest stories from YouTube, TikTok, Reddit, and beyond. My story is about the time that I was broken up with at the 9-11 memorial. Uh, twice. Look, the internet is a dumpster full of stories, and I, your host, Will McFadden, dive in headfirst, sift through the flaming trash, and bring you nothing but treasures. Listen to all 21 episodes of Hashtag Storytime now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.